I'm gonna show you how to make custom thumbnails on YouTube for free, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so I have a ton of people asking me in the comment sections all the time, Nick, how do you make thumbnails for YouTube? And to be honest, there's a ton of different options that you can use to make thumbnails. Some are extremely complicated and will keep you running in circles with all the different options that they have. And some, like the one we're gonna be using today to make thumbnails, is extremely easy to use. And in addition to it being extremely easy to use, the one I'm gonna be showing you today is also gonna help you do a bunch of other really awesome stuff in your channel. I'll actually put a link up here if you wanna check this video out about how to get more views and subscribers using the tool TubeBuddy that we're gonna be using to make the thumbnails today. For this, we are going to have to head over to the computer, but before we do that, I'm really curious what it is that you are currently using to make your thumbnails. Let me know down in the comments. And while you're doing that, I will head over to the computer. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are inside of your Creator Studio admin. As you can see, this is not my normal channel. This is just a place where I put a personal archive of videos. I might actually start uploading some random vlog content here. So I'll put a link to this in the description if you wanna check it out in the event that I end up doing some live streaming here or some additional vlog style content. If you're interested in seeing that, um, then come over here and go ahead and subscribe if you would like. If not, that is totally cool too. Back on this, what you wanna do is you want to go into one of your videos. So in this case, I'm gonna go into a video that I use for a header. Once you are in the video, you wanna click on the create thumbnail option here by TubeBuddy. If you do not have TubeBuddy or you're not familiar with TubeBuddy, there's a link down in the description where you can go install it right now so you can follow along step by step for this. You do not need to have a paid version of TubeBuddy in order to do this. This is all available in the free version, but I highly recommend that you go ahead and install TubeBuddy just so you can see what it can do for you. But the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna click on the create thumbnail option. In this particular situation, you see that we have the option to add a still frame from the video. We can add a solid color or we can add an image or an existing thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a still frame from the video. Now what this does is this allows you to pull any frame from that particular video. And once you get really dialed in on what it is that you wanna use, you can even fine tune it even more. So here I'm just gonna scrub for an image that I would like to use. Okay, I'll use this one. And as you can see, you know, we all make those funny faces in our videos. So I'm gonna make this as less funny as possible. And, uh, and then I will choose that as the frame that I want to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this particular frame and I'm gonna click on continue. Now, what just happened is this just saved this frame for me as the base layer in this thumbnail. So I'm gonna turn off lock background so that I can click on this and I can actually make it bigger and move it around and move it into a position that I want. So here, I'm gonna just put it right here so it's symbolic of the current thumbnails that I use. And then I'm gonna click on lock background so that I can't move it again. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna go up to text and I'm gonna click on the text option. And here I'm going to do how to. And on this, I'm going to change this to Anton, which is the closest thing in this list to my current branding font. You can use any fonts that you want to, but you have to upgrade your TubeBuddy license in order to do it. But this is a great start if you want to start out for free using this option for making thumbnails. So you click on Anton or Arial or any font in this list that you would like to use. In this particular case, I'm going to use Anton. And I'm going to put How To as the very first line of text. I'm also going to click here and I'm going to change the color of How To to white. Now, this also gives you the option to bold the text, to underline it, to add an outline in black, an outline in white. You can justify it in any way that you want, change the opacity and all of that. But in this particular case, because I'm replicating the current thumbnails that I have, I'm just gonna put the how-to and then I'm gonna click on add. And then as you can see, it put the how-to right over here. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add another text layer. And here I'm going to make this as a make, same settings here with the Anton and the white. I'm gonna hit add. And then now we have make. And then I'm going to add another text layer of thumbnails. I'm gonna add that one. And I'm also going to add a free, for free on here as well. And then we'll go ahead and get that one in the queue for us. So one thing that you wanna do from a design standpoint, the very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna get all this text lined out in a way to where you're focusing the eyeballs on the things that are the most important to you, to the viewer, in terms of how to actually get all of this stuff put together and make it actually look nice as well. So here in this case, right, I, I see this and I say, you know what, I can probably make this fit a little bit better, make it a little bit easier to understand if I use less lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this right here and I'm gonna actually change the how to to how to make. So I'm just gonna hit delete 
And then that allows me to come over here and I'm gonna select how to, and then I'm going to modify this with make. So this way, you know, we keep it all looking nice and clean. So what I need to do next is I need to come up here and I need to say, okay, now how can I move this into a way that we are going to have this a little bit more even, right? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some boxes behind this as well, some shape boxes to really make this text stand out. So the first thing I'm gonna do, once I get those in a general alignment that I'm going to try to go for, is I'm gonna go up to the shape layer. And then here I'm gonna keep this color as red, but I'm gonna select the box right here. Now you can see there's a bunch of different colors that you can pick, but in order to make this similar to the thumbnails that I currently have, I'm just gonna pick this box right here, and then I'm going to click on add. Now what that does is that puts the box on here, and this gives me the ability to put it anywhere that I want. Now I'm gonna put my focus words as for free, so I'm gonna shrink this box down to where it is just a little bit higher than this for free part, okay? And then I'm gonna do that. Now the next thing I wanna do is I, as you can see, this box is covering the uh, text there. So if you look here, this is gonna allow you to send it to the back, and this is gonna allow you to bring that box to the front. So I'm gonna send this to the back, and then since this is locked, it's already not gonna go back behind this. But if this wasn't locked, it would go back behind this, and then you'd have to actually move this to the back in order to bring it to the front. So make sure that you have that locked. But once I have that in place, I'm gonna take this, I'm just going to move it around just a little bit to make sure that it fits and everything just a little bit more even there. And you wanna spend time, you know, cause I'm doing this kind of fast for the sake of this tutorial, but you wanna spend time trying to get your lines even, your spacing even, like around the text and things like that, because that just makes it look a little bit better. And when it looks a little bit better, people are more likely to respond to it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another shape layer. In this particular one, I'm going to make this one black. And I'm gonna hit choose, and I'm gonna click on here, and then I'm going to click add again. And here I'm going to put this text behind the thumbnails right here, as you can see. And I'm gonna do this for thumbnails, and I'm going to do this for how to make. I'm gonna speed this part up right here, so you don't have to sit through this part, and then we're gonna get into twisting these things around, trying to make them look a little bit cooler and not as basic. Okay, now this is really handy now that we have these boxes because as you can see, the spacing is off a little bit here on the bottom, a little bit here on the top, and getting all of your spacing right really makes a difference on how this stuff looks. So what I can see here is I need to actually bump this here up a little bit, and I'm gonna use that as my guide, and then I'm going to move this one up just a little bit as well, and then I'm going to move the thumbnails box in the middle of those two so that we have everything even there. And then once you have the boxes in place, then you can just grab the text and you can pull the text right around to make these a lot easier to see and to make it, you know, just look a little bit better as well. But as you're looking at this, right, like I can see right now that this box, I actually took this up a little bit high. And the cool thing about making your thumbnails in TubeBuddy is that they allow you to just keep going back and making changes. Like as an example, I can take thumbnails out and I can just grab this and I just move it around until until this space right here in the middle that I'm trying to even up this and this is pretty close and then I can drop this back in there. So as an example, this would be ready to go. I could export this out, this would be totally fine. If I was being picky about it, I would of course, you know, adjust the spacing here to try to even the spacing up here along the outside of this text to what I have here at the outside of this text as well. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, so I don't waste all of your time, um, this right here would be a great foundational point for a thumbnail to make your thumbnails look a little bit better than um, than possibly what it is that you're currently doing or not using any thumbnails at all. Now, if you wanna take this up another step, what you can do is you can click on these. I'm gonna click on the box here, and then you can go up here and you can click on that very top box, and I'm actually gonna spin this around a little bit, and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna spin this around as well to try to line that up a bit. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other two, and then I will speed through that as well so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so once I get it into position, you can see there that that is a similar thing to what I do with mine. Now the main difference is it doesn't let me add a drop shadow, which is what I add in mine, which kind of gives it a little bit of depth. But as far as the basics of how it actually looks, this definitely follows the same principles that my thumbnails follow on my channel as well. One additional thing that I would do in this situation is I would take this and I would actually move this one to the back 
as well so that the um oops so that the red is actually coming over top of that and then on this one this is actually perfect exactly how i want it and then of course i would also experiment you know if i was doing this for real with the actual weight of how things are you know like i might move this over to here and then maybe try shrinking this and then moving it over here just for the sake of making it look a little bit more interesting while keeping it all you know a little bit balanced um you can also add emojis they give you that option so if you wanted to say in this particular case let's say that i wanted to put like a surprise emoji here to say like oh my gosh we're making these for free that's insane then i would put this right over here and then that would kind of balance that guy out uh right over there as well so you know you can use this in any way that you want but the options that they give you are text image shapes emojis and then of course if you're a paid to buddy user then um you can also get the upgrades for the actual templates that they've created as well which is pretty cool and again there is a link to tubebuddy down in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself and see all of the other awesome things that tubebuddy can do for you and if you want to learn more about growing your channel making videos and all types of other youtube related stuff start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time